folks, it's Thursday night. Welcome aboard Murder Hobo Inc., the Cacophony Edition. Uh, thanks for joining us. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. If it's your first time, uh, you're in for a treat. Uh, trust us. Uh, we're going to give you something uh, fun to watch for about two hours. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot shit with us about D&D, &D, join our Discord. If you want to buy some cool stuff like a phone case or a cool shirt or duvet cover shower curtain or cow. Or wait cow. does that get duvet covers yeah we got duvet covers we got it all man we're we're class action place <laughs> uh but most importantly if you want to join us on the talk show on tuesdays or a one shot like this saturday hit us up m hobo inc twitter or gmail we'll get you on there uh get you about two hours worth of playing time give you something to relax with uh big shout out to our sponsors pirate dog dice for making dice that don't suck and of course if your game stinks like not this one uh <laughs> what are these called adventure sense That's there it called. is yeah. uh adventure sense by oddfishgames.com they will make your game stink less uh maybe not your dm style but you know the, the game will smell a whole lot better they also make something called the shine system so if you want to learn how to write uh, pick up the shine system. That's oddfishgames.com. Folks, uh, this is Cacophony. These are our three standard players. Uh, let's introduce you. You know, David, you always get rooked, so I'm going to start with you first. David, okay. <laughs> tell us about you. Tell us about your character. Hi, I'm David, and tonight I will be playing Zadar. He is the Arc King Trickster Rogue, now with a one level in Wizard, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, yes, you can find me here on Cacophony on every other Thursday and uh, usually on BTR on Tuesdays. Every once in a while, I'll get a one shot. Then I'm also in the Calamity campaign. So A team and B team. So there we go. Calamity, the best campaign on TV. <laughs> Twitch, whatever we are. Twitch, yeah. Ah, that's David, folks. Next up is Caitlin. Caitlin, tell us about yourself. Tell us about your character. Hi, Caitlin. I've been playing this for a very long time now. So as Daphne, we have an outside the teeth playing. Yay, thankfully. <laughs> and I'm still waiting to use my little portable fly that can become bigger and I can ride him. So, in case we fall through the clouds. <laughs> there you go. You're yeah. prepared. <laughs> oh, ye of little faith. Uh, last but certainly not least, normally behind the camera tonight, behind and in front of the camera, our producer, Carrie. Carrie, tell us about yourself. Tell us about your character. Uh, I am playing Camille, the halfling necromancer wizard, and it's been a long week, so you don't want to know anything about me this week. <laughs> <laughs> What? Are you and me uh, having bad weeks? Like, I'm on... <laughs> just... Yeah. Uh, folks, uh, like I said, this is Calamity. These guys finished off the Tower of the Curd last time we met, uh, and they found themselves tasked with getting rid of the Judah Stone, uh, a cursed object. Uh, the new Curd of the Talosian people have asked if they knew anybody smart enough to know how to deal with this. And of course, the first and only name that came to mind was Mortimer J. Sneed, uh, currently not on sabbatical from the Grand Academy. He is back at his post, and that is where these guys were headed. However, uh, they were headed that way in the hot air balloon, piloted by none other than Arrow Smith, uh, when it was realized they did not take on enough supplies. Uh, floating over the vast ocean gives them very little options. But fortunately, they did spot a castle in the clouds and headed for that location in the hopes of recovering supplies. We rejoin them now as they have just set down on a cloud bank, uh, and it seems solid. Who wants to exit the craft first? <clears throat> uh, guess Sadar well. <laughs> Give me a d20. Just a straight up d20. Yep. Uh, oh, eight. Uh, the terrain is solid. Uh, there's okay. a thin layer of mist, uh, but other than that, it 
is solid. Uh, so that is good news. With Zadar out of the craft, who wants to go next? That's uh, no cloud. I, I'll go. Okay. Uh, you get out bolstered by the fact that Zadar did not fall to his death. Uh, you jump out and sure, show enough, you are also on solid ground. Daphne, you ready? Yeah. You fall through the cloud to your death as you land on a very spired rock. Nice. Oh, no, wait, that's not till later. Uh, you also are on solid ground. Ahead of you is a, for lack of a better term, floating river, but there is a drawbridge directly across leading to the citadel uh, with minarets. I want to uh, go live there now. Well, as you guys sit down, uh, let me get back. If I just live in the clouds, I would just take stuff and just constantly like throw it over. Uh, that's <laughs> cool. Uh, <laughs> as you spot the drawbridge, you notice a pair of cloud giants. They are bluish green in color. One appears to be male, the other appears to be female, and they're oh there. Hi there. Hi, hi there. <laughs> uh, we are glad that you got here so quickly. We had uh, no idea that you would be so abrupt and so timely in your arrival. Are you ready to begin? Uh, uh, we hadn't planned on coming. The two 18-foot cloud giants look at each other quizzically. Are you not here for the home inspection? No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, then that presents a problem. Uh, are you trespassers? No. Then what are you doing here? Well, we thought we could get some supplies here. No? Uh, is this in a flying J? <laughs> this, is, this is not the Circle K. Uh, I'm, I'm afraid uh, we have just recently come into ownership of this property, and uh, we were awaiting the home inspectors that we have summoned, and naturally assumed that it was you oh, um what are you needing inspected exactly well as as uh, i pointed out uh first off uh, uh my name is me uh this is my wife ina uh we happen to uh win uh this piece of lovely property uh from a gin uh in a mm. poker game um and we were hoping to get it inspected to make sure that there were no nasty things inside. Uh, we would do it ourselves, but we don't want to. I mean, <laughs> we could do it. Why not? So I mean, we can check it out for you. Yeah, where uh, many many trades and skills we possess. So, well, in return for that, could we get some supplies so we could continue on our journey? Well, our. Uh, our, our furniture and other personal items are due in here, and uh, due to your diminutive size, I don't think that any of you would eat that much. <laughs> uh, I suppose uh, we could do that. We are also offering five thousand dollars or five thousand gold pieces <laughs> to the uh, uh, yes, inspectors. The well, so who were the ones that you contacted initially? Uh, HIC, Home Inspector Corporation. Hmm. And when were they due? We just requested it, so we thought you had teleported in. But uh, Is there going to be any issue if we go ahead and do the inspection and then they show up and want to know where their job is? Uh, first hog to the trough, I believe, is what the dwarves say, so... If you want the job, you can take the job. Okay, just making sure. Didn't want to put you in a bind. Yeah, for supplies and gold, of course. We'll take the sure. job. That'll work. Uh, I don't know anything about the property other than it was owned by a gym. Uh, he was a bit of an asshole. They so, usually are. Um, what but, was yeah. his name, by the way? <laughs> uh, Trayson. Trayson. Okay. 
Yeah, he has a, a brother who's well known on the elemental plane of error, but I don't recall <laughs> his name off the top of my head. Uh, as you can tell, the uh, exterior looks quite pleasing. Uh, you have hanging gardens to either side of the uh, main entrance. Have you been inside of it at all? Yeah, we just got here. Uh, you can tell that they have a couple of deck chairs and an umbrella set up. And on the uh, little bistro table, they have a pitcher of what appears to be margaritas. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> nice. No, we just got here. Uh, we were waiting. Uh, as far as cloud giants go, they look to be younger, mature, but younger. You know, maybe late 20s, uh, figuratively speaking. I don't suppose you'd have any coffee. What is this coffee you speak of? Damn. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, I'm told that there are no keys, uh, and the doors appear to be open, so I will leave you three to the home inspection. We uh, expect a full rundown after uh, the building is checked. Uh, you guys do know what you're doing, though, right? Oh, of course. Uh, sure. The wife, Ina, asks, so uh, what kind of... Uh, credentials do you guys possess our adventurers guild credentials <laughs> yes <say> that. <laughs> exactly our adventurers pins we hold them up mm -hmm. well, those, those pins are about yay big yeah so they're not about even an island <laughs> on there yeah and we got our coffee punch cards. Our, yeah, that's right, our punch cards <laughs> <laughs> uh the pair of cloud giants look at each other and Okay, how about it? So, are Skippy Lee and Aerosmith going to come with us? Bah, 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 bah. Skippy Lee Please. was left oh, in that's the right. Tower of the Curse. Mm -hmm. uh, no, uh, Aerosmith will stay with his craft uh, just because he is the captain of the ship and he's not sure if it will stay moored to this cloud because he has nothing to tie it off on. Hmm. Okay. So he says, have fun inspecting the castle. <laughs> Thanks, Max. <laughs> All right, well, Miracle Max to you. I guess we need to march on. Mm -hmm. uh, as you march forward, uh, the, the palace looks immaculate. I mean, it, it's clearly constructed out of white marble with tiny blue veins of some kind of mineral uh, running through it. It's actually very pretty, uh, but the closer you get to it, the more you notice that it's a little on the rundown side. I mean, it's been up here a long time. It's not fresh. Uh, things could uh, use a little bit of paint. Things uh, could use a little bit power of power wash. Yeah, a power wash would be good. Uh, there also appears to be, you know, dust and dirt and debris that have blown up into the atmosphere. Maybe some uh, pelican poop because you're above sea level. Uh, but other than that, you notice the gardens are to the left and to the right underneath uh, uh oh, help me out what is it you want to put in the backyard gazebo uh, uh no no uh, uh trellis pergola, pergola. pergola. two there pergolas run uh fruits and vegetables are on one side and colorful plants are on the other although the colorful plants are in a state of decay they need a little bit of water yada 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 uh but that is visually what you can see here, uh, the stairs go straight up about uh, five to 10 foot wide. It looks like it was made for somebody far larger than any of you. So it's gonna be kind of a bit of a climb. Uh, you turn around and you see Meme and Ina uh, sitting in their deck chairs, sipping their tropical drink, watching you. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> uh, do you want to go up the stairs to the front door or do you want to go around to the pergolas? Hmm. Let's go around to the pergolas. Yeah, I think that's probably best. Yeah. Left are fruits and vegetables, right are flowers. Flowers. I like flowers. Flowers? So you bypass this. You'll also notice that a bank of windows also uh, decorates the front. Mm -hmm. uh, there's that central minaret, if you will, or tower 
it uh, doesn't appear to be, I don't know, a, uh, a room. It appears hmm. to be more of a decorative feature. Now, keep in mind, uh, from the top of the stairs here to here is about 25 to 30 feet. Uh, so this was built for larger creatures. Uh -huh. uh, it is going to be quite voluminous. You don't need to roll to notice that. This thing is going to be huge. So uh, keep the wonder in mind that it, there might not be things within easy reach of your uh, access, shall we say. Everything will be giant-sized. Uh, so with that in mind... You can go around to the right and see the pretty flowers. Look at the flowers. Look <laughs> at the flowers. Uh, as you get around to the right side, you notice that there is some type of tinted glass uh, covering the top of the pergola with enough gap for rainwater to siphon in off the slanted forms. Uh, the, gla the tinted glass also offers some respite from the uh, beating sun as and you are quite close to it since you were so high in the clouds mm -hmm. as you go around the corner uh as i pointed out earlier a lot of plants they seem to be in distress uh they sit on a table about 12 feet high uh it is constructed out of very thick timbers uh wooden benches aka raised beds as you look around, uh, there are a lot of vines hanging over the side, wilted from the lack of care. Uh, to the right, or I'm sorry, to the left, as you look down the rows, uh, you see the edge of the building. There is no doorway inside. Would you care to go ahead and examine the flower beds? Um, I would. Hopefully, Kabil and Daphne would, too. <laughs> Well, you're going in, so give me an investigation roll. Yeah, okay. Okay, investigation roll turns up a 24. Uh, it looks like the plants are in need of water. Uh, you see a watering can up on the bench, but as I stated earlier, it's going to be... Giant-sized. Yeah, giant-sized watering can, giant-sized plants, and giant-sized table that they are on. Well, that is problematic to get water to the plants. Um, Good news is, uh, with your investigation roll, you've noticed some lattice work in between the tables. If you would like to make the climb, you may do so. Sure, I'll make the climb. Uh, Camille and Daphne, you watch as Zdar. Huh. Huh. Yes, you are level, level seven. <laughs> you start to climb. Zadar, give me an acrobatics check. All right. Doesn't have to be very high. Uh, 24. Natural 20. Yep. You uh, briskly climb up the lattice work and you find yourself on a raised bed slash bench. Uh, looks like sunflowers. Oh, okay. Looks like sunflowers up here. <laughs> Camille and Daphne, what do you want to do? Anything? I'm sorry, I was on puppy duty. So, uh, Zadar has climbed up the side of the raised bench about 15 feet up uh, to find uh, dying or dead sunflowers. He has found the watering can, uh, but it is going to be giant size. So, there is going to be a tip hazard there. But currently, you and Daphne are on the deck. So are we wanting to water the sunflowers? I think that's what Zadar had in mind. Mm hmm Yeah, we can do it. Sure. Yeah, we can do that. So you guys want to climb up there? Yeah, sure. what the hell? <laughs> Give me an acrobatics check. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> 18. Daphne? <laughs> 21 because i got that 20. <laughs> all three of you briskly climb all three of you have briskly climbed up the side you look around certainly the sunflowers are all droopy and hanging over 
Uh, it appears as though they are in season, which is nice. They are all seeded up. Uh, and the watering can is on the edge. A uh, simple wrap will tell you from the echo that there is some water in this can. Behind you, uh, the bed is quite level. It has two rows uh, of wilty sunflowers. Well, that's what would you like sad. to do? But I bet it smells floral fresh. I floral bet it does. fresh. <laughs> uh... Well, uh, is there anything above the watering can that perhaps a rope could be tied off to? Uh, well, there is the glass, mm -hmm. the slant of glass, but. Other than that, no. Other than that, nope. Okay. No, because I was thinking if you know, we worked together, we could tip it. You know, but have somebody on a rope tied to it going over, you know. So, what are we you know, like a pulley? On? And you're standing on the frame of the bed. Yeah. Okay. And the um, watering can's just sitting on that as well. Yep. Can't we just tip it over in the bed? Yeah. I, I mean, that's what I was going to do but to keep the can from falling off or falling on top of us it was going to kind of cantilever it with the rope but there's well, nothing you, to tie off to you can always throw the rope over the spout and do it that way if you want i mean it, it's going to knock the can over but that will get the water on the dirt um sure we can do that everybody roll initiative at disadvantage because oh no you are all focused <laughs> Seven. Uh, ooh. <laughs> Eleven. Try again, Daphne. Well, I'm assuming twelve. I'm not going to mm. roll Sorry. Over three. Uh, actually, twelve uh, wins. You hear the snapping and crackling behind you as you spin around. One of the sunflowers appears to be an animated creature, and it's got fangs on it. Uh, the, the flowers have formed the leaves over to make it look like it is a masked flower, and it appears poised to attack. So Daphne, Ooh, And I'm like, these are the most beautiful flowers I've ever seen in my entire life. Now keep in mind, you guys are all on the edge, so any nat one is either going to be hit your buddy or fall painfully to the ground. Mm. So are these flowers giant size as well? Yes, they're about eight feet tall. Awesome. So Daphne, you are up first. We just need to find like a giant bee. Yeah, because that would certainly help your situation dramatically. <laughs> <laughs> or a giant caterpillar, does that eat them? Yeah, that would work. Neither of those are clearly present, so what would you like to do? Um, Is it sentient? Can they attack? What? Sorry. Oh, so we can't talk to it? You, you don't have the option yet. You haven't gone. Mm. Daphne, Daphne rolled best, so Daphne rolls first. I, I rolled three. Did I roll the worst? Oh, I thought you said 12. Nah, three, three. Oh, never mind then. The sunflower is going to attack. <laughs> yeah. And the, the sunflower is going to attack. Four. Zadar. Oh, no. Um, odd even as to what it does. Okay. Odd, it is going to take its uh, circular bulbous head and bludgeon you with it. I throw up a shield. <laughs> Uh, no need, as it rolled a three and swatted to your side. Nice. Uh, now the elevens that are. Okay. Uh, I. So these things are sentient, but probably will not understand me unless I had speak to plants, right? I don't um, know. You'll have um, to. You'll have to try. I'm just like, wait, we're trying to get you water. Water. <laughs> point at the. Point at the can. <laughs> Point at the can. <laughs> I, I point at the can. Do you just like throw the can on them now? Fair enough. Uh, Zadar points to the can and begs for forgiveness. Uh, next up, 
Camille with a seven. Hmm. Yeah, so I go over to the can and I try to push it. <laughs> or I show them that I'm trying to give them water. Not actually really pushing it over. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, good. A mime. Uh, <laughs> with a three, Daphne the Tiefling, you're up. Your friends are trying to communicate with these individuals to make a rudimentary lathe. What would you like to do? Wait, I have my stuff. Can I just go on my fly? Yeah. <laughs> do we want to just now, throw Now, you, you can throw your fly out, speak the magic word, it will get an attack of opportunity. Uh, can I push the water on them? It's going to take a strength check, and it's going to take a pretty high one. And it is an ability check, so a nat 20 does very little. I mean, it still counts, but... You guys aren't going to help me push the water? They've already decided to talk, and Camille is pretending to push. <laughs> So give it your best shot, Daphne. You can still do it. Like a real construction worker. Pretend to live. Pretend to live. That's right. Two two of them are observing one of them's working. This is a government job. Yeah. 21. 21 is close. Uh you feel you feel the uh can move, but fail to push it over. This time around, the giant plant. It's going after five. It's going after Daphne. Uh, odd even. Do it. Do it. See odd. what happens. It's going to bludgeon you, lollipop style. Uh, 14. I don't think hits you, does it? No. So, back to the water. I'm going to light him up on fire. Well, I guess, uh, yeah, I guess they're not going to listen to reason. So. They're plants. Uh, they're plants. They're yeah okay if only so, we had a druid yeah yeah if only <laughs> if only leaf the druid was here he'd save the day okay sure. <laughs> zadar's not gonna pull any punches then uh he's gonna fire fire bolts at it so oh, that's gonna go up like a flame that that should improve its mood substantially okay go ahead <laughs> well i mean it's pointless right at this point or are we still going to try to reason with this thing before uh, i make my decision probably well, too shoot, late at this point shoot the fireball or firebolt <laughs> okay uh let's see all right i i think at this level it's two firebolts over probably. level five yeah okay well are you doing it as a wizard or a rogue uh wizard because wizard you're level one but don't i still share the same uh spell book i don't think so okay to be honest i, I don't do multi-class because it's yeah i'm gonna ass. i'm gonna have to look that up but anyway it doesn't matter i'm not casting it that high anyway so 15 to hit oh uh, that does hit okay uh and that is uh 12 fire damage well it's on fire uh let's see uh Camille, you saw Daphne struggle to push the can over. She made pretty good progress, but didn't quite get it done. You now have an angry, on-fire uh, sunflower behind you, and Daphne trying to push the can over in front of you. So, what do you want to do? Can I... Can I shoot magic missile at the can to try to knock it over? Sure. It will hit. How much damage do you do? Uh, oh, wrong thing. Uh, You're shooting three missiles, right? Yes. Oh, what are magic is, missiles? It is. 1d4 plus 1. Three times. Go ahead. 5, 2, 
two. Three holes open up in the can as you feel the reverberations, Daphne, and three jets of water careen out. Everybody roll a d12. Uh. Yeah, what's your roll? <laughs> two. Six. <laughs> All those, I don't have a 12. There we go. Eight. Two. Ah, uh, Camille, pew pew, your shooting uh, has landed one of the spouts directly at your face, one of the spouts directly at the on fire, and let's see, odd even. Nice. Two spouts at the plant. So give me a deck save or be knocked into your grave early. <laughs> Five. You are covered in dirt, which is quickly saturating with water and turning you into a mud wrestler. The good news is the two jets of water are now extinguishing the flames on your attacker, who seems to be... That's what we were trying to tell you. Sign in relief. Uh, top of the order, third round, or I'm sorry, Daphne, uh, you're up. You have seen uh, Quick Draw McGraw there pun punch three holes into the watering can and extinguishing your nemesis. Uh, however, it is relishing like Tim Robbins coming up out of Shawshank. Just <laughs> happy as shit. Uh, give me an insight check, Daphne. Like, not going to attack us now? 20, not natural? You do not believe that the creature is going to attack you now. You think that it has been pacified. It was hangry. All right. It needed so a Snickers. We can uh, shoot his head down while they're distracted with the water. Well, one of you is covered in an early grave. Eh, necromancer. <laughs> Do you want to head back down? Yeah. Uh, acrobatics, or I'm sorry. Uh, yes, acrobatics roll. This is where I roll terribly. Ah, oh, crap. Five. Three. Daphne falls. Camille falls. Uh, but the grateful sunflower catches me, right? <laughs> Zadar uh, has a 16. Uh, I think I can pick more than one target with a feather fall, right? <laughs> Not at first level. Oh, damn it. Okay. All right. Uh, well, I can pick at least one. <laughs> well, the bigger you... one falls faster. It's, yeah, it's the bigger one. Everything falls at the same rate of speed. <laughs> D D12 against me, Zadar. If I win, you don't get it off in time. Oh, okay. <laughs> Three. Two. Uh, pick your target. Okay. Um, oh, man. This is the top. This is like, oh, God. Dice, dice, give it, dice take it away is how I do it. Oh, God. Okay. So, pew. <laughs> um, odd or even? <laughs> even. Okay. You're lucky. I rolled a 10. So Daphne gets it. <laughs> Camille, your mud encrusted hands prove too slick to hold the lattice. You fall. Ooh, and you take eight hit points of damage. As you hit the uh, DG, the uh, granite chips below. Dice given, dice taken away. Uh, eight hit points of damage. You are oh, in a dirty, muddy hump. Okay, can we retcon this? Because the spell reads, and this is even at, at at level, choose up to five creatures within range that you can oh. hit with Featherfall. You do not take any damage, and you drift slowly. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I knew it. You when I, I get there. <laughs> Thank you, D and D Beyond. <laughs> As uh, Camille and Daphne drift down slowly. Uh, you guys need to roll perception checks as Zadar pew pew shoots feather ball at you. Five. 
Nineteen. Seven. Uh, Camille misses it. Daphne notices it. There is a large hairy arachnid that was living underneath the raised bed, and it takes a keen interest in you three edible morsels. Uh, but it quickly disappears among the wooden rafters. Oh, great. Now we got she lob. <laughs> ah, we just need to get the fuck out. <laughs> All yeah. three of you are now on the deck. Uh, where's the, that the sunflowers are starting to perk up as the water beads down. <laughs> They're doing the dancing flowers kind of thing. Nice. Um, yeah, I say we make a beeline for the house. <laughs> Well, directly in front of you is the house with the marble sides. No entrance. Oh. There is a window. It's about 18 feet up. Oh, gosh. So we'd have to go back through the sunflowers? Is the window opened? The window is not open. No, the sunflowers are on the raised bed. Think of, you guys are like the size of it. I don't know, bunnies at this point in time. Right. So, so all you can see is the base stones. Mm -hmm. But up top, if you crane your neck, you can see a window up there. Mm -hmm. Or you can go around the back. Maybe there's an entrance there. Or you can go around to the front. Maybe there's an entrance there. Oh. Or there's another raised bed on the other side. Looks like tomatoes. Tomatoes. They're from Jersey. They're delicious. <laughs> um, what do you guys want to do because I don't want to hang around for that spider to come back out <laughs> yeah. and I find speed I mean you got your fly yeah you can uh, you can go ahead and give them an aerial view of the situation oh, if you, you like. can go up and maybe open the window Yeah. go inside and then you know unlock the door for us or something of course, that splits the party. Yeah, sure. Split the party. <laughs> I know. I, can you guys ride on the fly with me or no? I think Probably you can not. only accommodate one. If I cast find speed, what would come? Could the spider be tamed to be ridden on? Uh, up here in the clouds? Hard to say. Could be friend, could be foe. But if it's find speed, it's not, I not, able to ride it'll, it? it'll be friendly to you. Yeah. Oh. It's up to you, Daff. <laughs> now, you could give up your ebony fly to one of the other two, summon the steed, and whatever arrives, two of you would most likely be able to ride it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Right? Unless it's a nap. <laughs> which would be our luck i swear um well i mean you can loan camille your your fly and then we can see see what dreams may come so or what to open the window mm -hmm. or just to get out of here <laughs> Are you gonna? Are you gonna find a steed? Yeah, I'm gonna cast find. I almost said speed. <laughs> <laughs> find speed. Uh, yeah. Give me a d12 roll, Daphne. Uh, Twelve. Pull up the right table. <laughs> huh. Hmm. The flapping of wings is heard, and an enormous uh, monarch butterfly Ooh, arrives so cool. and lands next to you on the DG. Nice. Oh you, ought, you, you ought to go up and pet it and see. It, it, it is large enough to accommodate up to two people. Wow. Okay. Okay. So do you want to... Like Camille used your fly, or Camille, hey, Camille, my Cam fly Camille or Camille, would you rather ride on the butterfly? Oh, I it'd be so cute with the two of us on the butterfly. This <laughs> needs to be a painted picture now. <laughs> oh man, the fan art. Okay, uh, I tell you what, 
Y'all have fun on the fl- uh, on that. I'll I'll be the Lord of the Flies. There we so go. I'll, t- I'll take the <laughs> I'll take the fly. I'm gonna take good care of him. I will. Whatever my chance is. What's it? Fly is becometh the biggest Goliath. <laughs> okay, that's the word. <laughs> uh, Daphne, uh, you turn your ebony fly over to Zadar. He speaks the magic word. It emerges into a pony-sized creature. It allows him to take flight. You and Camille climb aboard the monarch butterfly and tell it to rise, rise. Uh, the giant wings begin to flap and you find yourself taking off into midair with giant wings <laughs> flapping. Nice. Uh, nice. You guys can be just some inverted on novel. Zadar 6 uh, and... Did you want to head towards the window? I think so. Or uh, we could fly to an entrance or something because mm-hmm. the window is closed That's true. at this point. So you can fly up to the entrance and figure out what it is. Okay. <laughs> We're just like- it's up to you guys. I mean, uh, that sounds agreeable to me. Uh, when you fly up to this area, you are first off, Daphne, D12 against me. Okay. Six. No worries. You fly up to the windowsill. You guys peer in, and it appears as though it is, I don't know, a closet of some kind? Possibly there's some clothing hanging on a rack of some kind. Hmm. Not really sure. Uh, the room itself isn't very large from this window, so it's hard to tell. Uh, but for lack of a better term, it looks like it's a closet. Hmm. Why is there no like Alice in Wonderland, like we could drink something and become bigger? Uh, that yeah, that right. would be uh, Gary Gygax's EX1. It was a piece of shit. <laughs> I did not like that. EX1 Thanks. and EX2, I, I did not care for. Uh, okay. So, so, yeah, there might be a potion of growth in here somewhere. Hard to say. So, uh, this window appears to be sealed tightly and it appears to be going to a dressing room. So, uh, what do you want to do? Do you want to fly there, around there to are, another? There are windows all the way around this palatial estate. I assume we fly around so we find a way to get in. I don't know why the people wouldn't just let us in in the first place. We're supposed to be inspecting it. So that's also just. They did. They did. It's just. Zadar chose to go around the side. Yeah. Sorry. My bad. <laughs> so. Yeah. The front hey, door's but open. We, but we got the. <laughs> well, no, we'll just go to the front door. Yeah. We'll, we'll fly around and go, go to the front door. Okay. You guys go to the front door. Uh, you know, there's, there's minor debris around this area. You fly up the marble steps. Two immense 30-foot brass doors are there. It's cracked open, so you guys can clearly walk in or fly in. You're currently on mounts. You can fly in, and inside you find an enormous room. The floors are all marble. There are inlaid colors of blues, various hues. Also in this room, there are three doors directly across from you, two chimneys on either side of you, a seal, a crest or a seal is in the center of this marble floor, and there are, well, there were eight brass statues. Six of those statues are in pieces. Two of those statues are intact. They look like warriors with uh mailed fists huh okay you said they were in pieces bronze statues and six of six of them are in pieces two of them are still intact wow something had to hit them pretty hard (laughs) so um yeah that's interesting so fight night at the bellagio (laughs) i mean (laughs) first rule of fight club don't talk about it. <laughs> uh, uh, Daphne, what would you like to do? You want to touch down somewhere or keep exploring on, on the back of their mounts? 
I mean, I, if we can just hang out on the mounds, fly around, it's probably the easiest way, right? Yeah, yeah. Give yeah, me a DM's perception like check, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I will roll for Camille. She rolled a four, so she's not going to notice. Uh, Zador rolled a thirteen. Seventeen. Daphne, you notice that these bronze statues appear to be dwarves. Seven foot tall dwarves, but dwarves nonetheless. Beard. But grumpy. is that a. Well, they're statues, so they they're, could they're, be big. I mean, c- compared to an 18 foot tall creature, yeah. you know. Yeah. Hmm. Guys, do you notice these statues look like dwarves? You guys are flittering around. Zadar is soaring on the uh, giant fly. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, they're statues. <laughs> it's up to you guys. Do you want to check them out? or? No, nope, we just casually notice them. Okay. <laughs> Don't look too long at their eyes. As you flitter around the room, you notice that both chimneys uh, are ornately sculpted, and it appears as though cherubs are holding up the mantelpiece. Uh, the white marble with the blue veins uh, goes all the way to the ceiling, which is a good 30, 35 feet up. Uh, it appears to be vaulted, which you did not notice from the outside, and there are uh, sun lights or skylights they're offering a good amount of illumination. Other than that, you have three doors to get into the main chamber, uh, or you can flap the chimneys if you want. Hmm. It's up to you guys. <laughs> I got your six. What would be the benefit of going up the chimney? I don't see any benefit to it. <laughs> Certainly there will be no gargantuan bats there to attack you. Yeah. Or they suddenly eat, a that, fire erupts <laughs> in the fireplace. That, that eat monarch butterflies. Um, so, yeah. Don't eat butterflies. <laughs> Not real butter. Um, and it well, ain't a real fly. <laughs> it's not a real fly. It's well, not a real buttered fly. Daphne, D12 against me. <laughs> Just for that comment. If my butterfly turns into a buttered fly, it's really exciting to eat. Well, uh, your steed is still present and there's no... Okay. Well, okay. That spell last. So, uh... Still up to you guys. Uh, I'm yelling, Camille, what do you want to do? <laughs> do you want to explore on our mounts or hop off? And I think we should explore on our mounts. Okay. I'm for it. So I guess, uh, yeah. Venture on, fly. <laughs> the ceilings themselves are coffered and ornately designed. Uh, there is a little bit of dirt, a little bit of debris. Could use a good cleaning. Uh, looks like there are spots on the walls where paintings might have hung before that were taken down by the previous owner. You know, you get that black yeah. ring. Uh, the mantles on the fireplace show dust rings where various trinkets and oddities once sat. Uh, The room itself is ginormous. Uh, It gives you a feeling of awe and imagination and is best described as a great hall uh, with the two fireplaces even on the chilliest of nights up in the upper echelon of the clouds. Those fireplaces would have warmed this room easily. Uh, Currently there are no pieces of wood or any other incendiary devices that could start a fire uh, but without fuel that wouldn't do any good Uh, as you examine the three sets of doors uh, it's going to be a little bit difficult for you to open them while mounted especially the butterfly 
the butterfly is actually going to be detrimental to you opening it up. Yeah. So if you want to go through those doors, it looks gonna like you're to... going to have to land. Okay. I can't use mage hand to open it. You can try, but they are 30 feet high. Ow. Yeah, I think they would be too heavy for the mage hand. All right. I, I, I mean, feel free to try if you want. It doesn't bother uh. me. You can go ahead and give it a try, Camille. <laughs> Three. <laughs> uh, for what? To hit it, I guess, with the mage hand to open it. Yeah, you can fly close enough to open it. Uh, the door swings open easily. Oh, that's odd. Okay. Not, not really. There's a 30 foot tall door in Rome uh, built by Trajan that can open easily with one person. Uh, I was reading about that online. Wow. Uh, so, did you want to open left, middle, or right door? I suppose difference. Go in the middle. Yeah, it's in the middle. And there is no squeaking whatsoever. Nice. Uh, Daphne, your spell finds Steed last 10 minutes. It's been about five. Uh, as you open the door and move through it, you notice that you are in a long hallway. Uh, on this hallway are several pictures bolted to the uh, wall. It's another coffered ceiling, but there are no skylights in this area. There are illuminary sconces that are not lit. Uh, there is a door directly to your left, a door directly to your right, and a door directly in front of you. Uh, as you enter uh, this gallery, you notice that not only are there paintings, there are statues. The mosaic floor is inlaid in various beautiful adornments. Uh, and this could be an art gallery uh, if you didn't know any better. Unfortunately, you all three hear grumblings. And one of the grumblings is directed at three. Zadar. Oh, no. <laughs> Zadar, one of the paintings speaks to you and says, I think he's looking for a pile of shit to fly around. Give me a wisdom save. <laughs> oh. Frank's famous gallery of, <laughs> of vicious, vicious mockery paintings. paintings. Uh, a four. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to help. Oh, give my five hit are... points of psychic damage. As oh, that sucks. Crushed. I knew we were going to run into this sooner or later. <laughs> uh, these paintings are about 18 feet up off the ground, about standard viewing for anybody who's 18 feet, uh, maybe only 50 feet. I'm sorry. Uh, Daphne, you can tell from your mount is telepathically letting you know that it only has a few more minutes of flight time before it will depart. So Every, I say, like, the mount needs to return? Uh, it will land when it's ready oh, okay. to return. It's just letting you know that tick-tock time is running out. Okay. You have a door to your far left, a door to your far right, a door straight ahead, and multiple paintings and statues in between, all of which seem to be murmuring amongst themselves. I uh, yell, these guys aren't nice. <laughs> what would you guys like to do? <laughs> As the tear escapes Zadar's eyeball. Aww. Well, maybe we should leave the hall and go to one of the other rooms. Uh, sure. Sure. Can we fly, uh, fly below the gaze of the, the paintings? We'll see. Is that what you want to do? I don't know. We, we got to fly through them to get to either door. Right? Or at least one of them. Left and right, you'll have to go past a myriad of them. Straight ahead, you'll have to go past two. Oh, then straight ahead. That door is also shut. Uh, this time, the insult is aimed at five. Daphne, with horns like that, I'd wear a bag over my head. 
Give me a save versus wisdom. Twenty-four. You've been Ooh. called worse. <laughs> uh, you guys find yourself deposited in front of the main door. You have one melee round to react before the next painting chars on somebody. What would you like to do? Um, I'm, I say make a fly line to that door. <laughs> well, you'll, you'll be at the door. You're at the door right now. I'm at the door. Okay. It's shut. Um, can I do what Camille did and try to mage hand and open it? Sure. You okay. Push in or pull out? Push. <laughs> Odd even, uh, odd is push, even is not. Nineteen, the door pushes open just as nice. you hear the murmuring of the next one. Daphne, your monarch butterfly is letting you know I must land for I must breed. Uh, it slowly descends, flapping its wings. You and Camille boom land on the floor and poof the monarch butterfly disappears uh <laughs> Zar, you are still hovering over like your traffic cam mm -hmm. uh, you guys are in an oval room a large blue stone throne sits towards the center the ceiling rises up and it is that main minaret uh that you saw and i know minaret is not the right word for it uh but it's like the hall of congress right here uh this the cupola is, yeah the cupola is wide open uh a ornate uh fabric or red carpet if you will extends from the doors to the throne room the throne is currently empty uh, around the room uh, are a variety of pedestals holding strange and unique items, stone busts, possibly of previous owners, uh, and a variety of knickknacks or bric-a-brac. What would you like to do? Knickknacks? Could check out the bric-a-brac. What is that? Knickknacks. Knickknacks, trinkets. trinkets tchotchkes whatever you want to call them <laughs> wait what did you say it was tchotchkes birkin white brick and brack brick and brack brick and brack b-r-i-c b-r-a-c-k that's a thing mm -hmm. it is for it is people. you can google it and so <laughs> i literally <laughs> am right now <laughs> it, it is slang i've never heard what david said though tchotchkes that's yeah. the jewish term Blake, I Blake used to use that word a lot. Mm -hmm. Who? Blake. So, um, yeah. I, yeah. Okay. Let's go check them out. Well, the bric a brac, Chotsky's bullshit crap are all on pedestals that are about 12 feet high. Mm. Wait, I'm wait. Thrift store called this. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. This is See? Murder Hobo Inc. You learn shit. You learn shit. <laughs> the more you know. So, uh, Daphne and Camille, you were on the deck. Uh, highly polished marble floor again. Uh, carpet leading to the throne. Zadar still airborne on the ebony fly. What you want to do? Well, I'm still dirty, so I'm going to march my dirty little self down the rug to the throne. Cool. Daphne? Wait, what, my stuff? What am I doing? Yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> Just casually. Is there up? I figured I was going through the knickknacks. The chat key. Sure. Uh, you can do that. Uh, David is going to have the bird's eye view of that. You will not. Uh, day or Zadar, what are you doing? 
Uh, I'm gonna fly uh, towards one of the the uh, trinkets, if you want to call for lack of a better word. Want to go to a stone head or some kind of weird item? A uh, weird item. Sure, that'll work. Uh, it looks like a globe of some kind, and then you hear Camille scream. Uh oh. Uh, 15 plus five, dirty 20. Uh, dirty Camille, the rug that you were marching down envelops you. Oh, no. <laughs> I am going to need a constitution saving, or not constitution, I'm sorry, uh, grapple. DC 13 versus strength. You take six hit, oh, I'm sorry, you take nine hit points of damage and your screams are muffled as the rug cocoons you. Zadar and Daphne, you have heard this. Everybody roll initiative. Oh no. Aww. Not Twelve. a disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, I got my nat one. <laughs> uh, 14 for Zadar. Uh, Zadar, you are still airborne. You notice that the carpet is now wrinkled and a human form, like when a uh, snake eats a rat. Uh, as, a, as a thief, I hate these things. <laughs> not as much as Camille does right now. Yeah, 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 I know. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, uh, question, is this the, the kind that if the wreck takes damage, Camille takes damage? No, no. Oh, <laughs> okay. Guess we'll have to find out. Okay. So I'm still in female form, so I'm going to come in like uh, Tarnan, a Tarakian in heavy metal <laughs> with my I with am the familiar. scimitar. <laughs> come flying in, you know, with the bikini. Very so, formative in my teenage years. Every boy who grew up in the 80s, very much so. Heavy metal, if you haven't seen it. It is. I should. <laughs> so, so yeah. So I'm gonna fly down and uh, attempt to extract Camille. Are you jumping off the mount because you are not proficient in mounted combat? No. Uh, I'm gonna dismount. So I'm just flying down and I'm gonna try. You'll to get one them. action after you dismount. Then. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna fly in. Gonna come down and you know, kind of do like a skittering uh dismount off the fly sure. and uh yeah with that i am going to uh yeah boy this is a I'm, I'm gonna look for a seam and try to pull the um the rug apart from her strength check okay tarna could do it uh let's see oh not with the three <laughs> God, my camera keeps messing up. Probably not with a three. Uh, Daphne, not one. Go ahead. <laughs> what, did you roll another one? Wait, what am I supposed to roll for? What are you doing? Oh. Uh... I'm shouting to Daphne. Help me get her out of this thing. Grab a seam. <laughs> I, yeah, can we like... I guess can I grab a seam? Can you like pull it out? Like, you can try. You're gonna do it at a disadvantage because you have to run over there first. Oh. Now give me your okay. strength check. Alright. And <laughs> Nope, not good enough. Top of the order, round two. Uh, Camille, you are currently being smothered to death by this large construct. Give me another strength save. 13 or better. 10. Ooh. Camille's going to die in a rug. Uh, not with that roll. Four more hit points of damage. Uh, that is the rug's turn as well. 
Uh, Zadar, back to you. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, gonna try to make another attempt, strength check, to try to pull this thing apart. Sure. Okay. Uh, let's see. Doesn't anybody have a knife you can just cut me open? I'm afraid of cutting you. That's the problem. <laughs> there is that. It's called damage transfer. Yep. 14. Uh, yeah, 14 starts to pull it open. Okay. So, Daphne. Um, Daphne, come on. <laughs> Keep pulling. <laughs> You're, You're muted. muted. I know. I was really sorry. We're pulling together. Wouldn't we have, like, advantage? Depends on your strength roll. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I guess it's so this camera's killing me. Mm. Nat 20. Take it. 22. <laughs> nice. Uh, you peel it off. Uh, top of round three. Camille, uh, the rug has been pulled apart. You may jump out as your action. Uh, How is the trick? If you have a bonus action, you can use it. But getting out is going to save you. That's fine. I'll get out. And I go. <gasps> fair, fair enough. The rug will go after. To Camille again. It's not letting go of its dinner. Uh, it's not going to get dinner with that roll. That's a four. Uh, Somebody set that bitch on fire. Yeah, Zadar is. At that point, Zadar's going to uh, try to light it up with fireball. Sure, that you know that's cool because you guys are here for a fucking home inspection. You might yeah. set fire it's a stone place. room. Come on. <laughs> 15 to hit. Hits. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, eight damage, fire damage. That's nice. Uh, Daphne, you're up. I'm talking about. And I just unmute myself. Maybe getting a bird. A bird? Yeah, oh, so it's a bird, and he's really cute. They're so messy, though. Yeah. yeah but he'll just be on my shoulder. Just well, like, he'll poop on you. poop all everywhere. Right, yeah. So, so what you gonna do? <laughs> I'm gonna send my bird poop into the game. Pew, 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 pew. So what you gonna do to the um, rug? And yes, I can just like. Attacking with my scimitar? Yep. Now that Camille is not entrapped in it, all the I mean, we could have. It's like dicing up. Like you have a sushi roll. Yeah, with uh, Camille da in it. Damage transfer <laughs> yeah. gives half the damage to the creature, half to the entrapped <laughs> PC. Go ahead and There's attack. AC 19 12. and 20. 20 not natural hit. Both hit. Wow. It's a total of 14 damage. <clears throat> 22 total. Top of the order. Camille, you have uh, caught your breath. Uh, the creature is still trying to entrap you. At least it was last round. What would you like to do? Um, firebolt cantrip. Sure. Hit it. Um. 13. All you need is a 12, so that hits. Eight. That is 30 hit points. It is not in good shape. It will attack three Zadar this time. Okay. I'm going to evade or whatever. So I roll disadvantage? Uh, I think so. Let me let me verify. It's been a while since I played Zadar. Uh, uh, my cunning, is... cunning action, bonus action, I can dash or whatever. So I don't know if I can do it as a reaction. So. Well, you're, you're holding on to it. Oh, yeah. I'm still <laughs> holding on to it. Ma! Yeah. Uh, 18, even at disadvantage. Okay. Does that get you? Uh, yes, that gets Zadar. So give me your uh, 
strength check. Okay. And you will eat. Burger Hobo. Seven plus three, ten damage. Oh, man. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> and he's gobbled up. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Uh, Daphne, the rug's looking pretty tattered, but it also has consumed Zadar. Oh, really? So yep. he's in it now. He's in it. Yep. I feel like these people are going to, like, yell at us for destroying their rug. <laughs> or Zadar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, who's on the inside who could possibly die. That's true. <laughs> yeah, but if it's tattered, maybe there's, like, a hole you can, like, bring it through. What you want to do, Daphne? Try to pull the rug off of him. Maybe rip the seams off. Sure. Give me a string check. Tattered. Not going to happen. Seven. Nope. Uh, not going to work. Top of the order, Camille. All right. I will take my diminutive form and try to rip it off of him. Ooh. 16. Uh, Zadar, uh, you get your head out. Uh, it looks like the rug is giving birth to you. <gasps> Danny DeVito in a like couch. That's right. This round, you're only going to take five. You're taking half damage, so you take five hit points of damage, and it is your turn. If you successfully escape, uh, I will still give you an action. Okay. Strength on my turn? Yep. Can we make it dex? <laughs> nope. <laughs> we could. We aren't. But we're not. <laughs> uh, Twelve. Twelve. Close, you almost escape. Uh, now you are up to your waist in it. Uh, oh. da Daphne, he's about half out. You might be able to tug him out, or you might be able to tug him out. <laughs> nice. Or, uh, After you pull out. It. That's right. Uh, well, I am in female form, so. <laughs> you can give Zadar a rub and tug, or you can just try and kill this thing. If I try to kill him, am I going to kill him? He might sustain some damage. Because he is. I'm going to attack the rug because we're chaotic. Sure. <laughs> of course you are. Our game. You do not want to roll overly high or overly low. A 19 and 11, does that hit? 19 is pretty high. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> how, mu how much damage for the 19? Six damage. Uh, Zadar, take three hit points, and with the last three hit points, the rug of smothering, apparently you've cut the thread that holds it all together, and it collapses into a ball of string. Uh, oh, the rug God. is no more. <laughs> you can mend yourself together with the string. Yes, <laughs> mend your assailant. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what I want to do. No. As, you look, <laughs> as you look around, you have peeked in one room, gone into the main room, gone into the art gallery, and gone into the throne room. So you got four rooms down. Of course, you don't know how many rooms are there. Uh, anybody want to look at the bric-a-brac now? Or do you want to examine... I think there's exits here. There are two exits, one on the left, one on the right and a bank of windows behind the throne that allow the sunlight to come in on whoever is sitting in the throne, considering they are 15 feet or taller, and be illuminated like Louis the Sun King. <laughs> nice. Huge heavy draperies hang at the back that can be pulled in case the light is too much. But this throne room is quite classy, except for the tattered rug that you guys have fucking destroyed. That's coming out of your salary, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I told you that. Well, it was a hazard. We removed like the hazard. Like, like they wouldn't have enveloped the giants? 18 feet tall? No. Maybe. <laughs> like their toe? It's like a toe ring. So, uh, you still have the bric-a-brac in here. You do have two exits, one to the left, one to the right, and the bank of windows if you want to go out and look at the beautiful vista. <laughs> Up to you guys. Uh, the fly at this point, uh, did it revert after I jumped off of it? Yep. Okay. 
So I in search for the for it and hand that back to Daphne. Thank you. This is awesome. So. <laughs> Did you name him? It. Am I uh, supposed to? I don't know. You don't can know. always give it a I'm name. I'm just asking. Call it Shoe. <laughs> shoe <Aww>. Fly. <laughs> In my mind, I keep thinking like Flynn. I don't know why. Flynn the fly. There you go. Flynn yeah, because it's like fly, but with an N. <laughs> Flying. <laughs> Flying. Yeah. <laughs> we do F L Y. You can call it Flying Brian. <laughs> uh, so yes, you you are now in possession of it. Looking around the room, you still see the pedestals of various sizes, along with the bric-a-brac with no means to fly at this moment in time, uh, that's going to be kind of useless. I just want to kick everything over at this point. Do it! <laughs> Do it! Eh, I'm too small. It won't happen. Yeah. Tornado. And if it did, it might fall on you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so what do you want to do? Killed by a tchotchke. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, um, let's uh, what, what precious moments else. things, <laughs> right? <laughs> Animated precious moments statues. <laughs> Some little girl with a butterfly net catching me. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, what do you guys want to do? Do you want to check out the rest or what? Let's get out of here. Okay. I mean, honestly, so, everything here, the giants could conquer on their own. Yeah. That's not their job. That's your job. Yeah. Well, I mean, we can it's just... It's an inspection. We can just report. You had a rug of smothering, but you don't. Oh, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> now, that, now, now, Camille does bring up a good point. Any home inspector will tell you it's not their job to fix problems. It's their job to report. Exactly. Right. Right. <laughs> All I have to do... There's a spider in the garden. There was a shredded rug in there <laughs> yeah, there's so a spider weird. in the garden if you don't water the sunflowers they get really angry and try to hurt you angry hangry hangry uh the hall of paintings you, you gotta have a thick skin to walk through there just saying yep yeah. yeah. so what uh, what other rooms we've got we've got two other rooms to check out right well i mean in the art gallery, you had two doors on either end. So yeah. in in the throne room, you have doors on the left and on the right leading somewhere. Mm. Uh, you want to check out one of the other doors? Sure. OK. So uh, left or right? We'll do right. Oh. Ah. <laughs> I was gonna say, didn't we go left last time? Or did we, we went right? I think we, we went, went right. Straight. We went no. straight. Yeah. We'll go straight. left. Left? Left mm -hmm. is fine. Uh, yeah. The door, again, uh, it must be cantilevered or something because it opens. Just slides open easily. Soundlessly. WD 40. That's right. Inside this area, it is a library. Yeah. No ifs, ands, or buts. You know, there's going to be angry books in there. It looks good. We can close the door. <laughs> Anybody see Page Master? Uh, you know, <laughs> there are two door, two extra doors in this room. One, if you walk in and look to the left, one straight across. Uh, but yes, uh, the bookshelves are lined here with heavy tomes, scrolls, scroll cases, uh, a big comfy chair, a small reading table, and uh, a set of spectacles on top of one of the tomes but they're like really big ones really side. big right. oh wow okay and these tomes are really big right? yep although there are some smaller ones hmm uh do i recognize any of the titles on any of them if how i take a look would, how long would you like to look around yeah just, just casually briefly you guys will be able to look at the lowest level, uh, a lot of <laughs> mundane items, uh, a lot of uh, boring topics such as botany. If you're a botanist, tough shit. I literally took a botany class and it was one of my favorite classes. 
Well, that's because you're boring. <laughs> uh, a lot of mundane things. Uh, everybody looking around, give me an investigation check. Investigation. You hear their music outside? No, we can't hear it. Who has me? I don't know if they're singing karaoke or 20. it's like music. <laughs> uh, 23. Sorry, what is it? Perception? What? Mm-hmm. Investigation. <laughs> it's Jersey. Oh. They got rat playing outside. Uh, Daphne's oh, my window more, con- more, more considerate of the uh, spectacles and the overall opulence. There's a huge rug in this room. Uh, but what? as you step on it, it does not move. It's okay, I was and gonna... Camille, you, however, find regular size scrolls and uh let's see i gotta open up that window that's where they are back there and they got their disco ball usually it's inside their like kitchen but they brought it outside uh two spells on your scroll uh camille zadar you have a protection against lycanthropes scroll Hmm. okay this could be useful Uh, Camille, your spell levels for the scroll is a level three and a level four uh, to be chosen at random. Uh, The first one should be wizard. And the first one or the second one is a sorcerer. So fourth level sorcerer, third level wizard. uh, You can roll for that later. So there you go. Other than that, everything else is too high. Uh, This room, again, has a covered ceiling. Uh, Mm -hmm. You know what? Everybody roll perception at disadvantage. Uh, 19. 14. Trace. At disadvantage? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, I rolled a 23 and a 19. You notice that the rug appears to be a global map. Oh. Similar mm. to the one that was found in the Tower of the Curd. Uh, and much like the Tower of the Curd's wooden one, uh, this one has plush uh, spouts where the land masses are and straight blue fibers for where the sea is. So it's a textured, sculpted rug. Oh, wow. Okay. Very classy. Very fucking big, but very classy. Yeah. yeah. Does it, not the rug itself, but does the map itself animate or anything like that? Or Nope. No? Okay. Just a sculpted uh, deep pile, shallow pile rug. Okay. That's pretty but cool. Kinda, but kind of cool. Uh, can I take a moment to take in the things? Do I see like Telosia and all that on the map? And mm-hmm. okay, wow. There, there take... is, there's no dot that says you are here, right? <laughs> nope. There, uh, right at the edge, uh, you see one that is gray fabric, and it says Grand Academy. Yeah. Uh, okay. gray area there's just a just a mass just mm-hmm. just like a land mass oh okay i throw Hold myself that. on it and roll around like a cat i, I ought to make it a teleportation gate but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Cam- camille's gone you guys are fucked yeah great <laughs> now we gotta fly there <laughs> oh man so okay. you got you got the room directly across from the door that you came in or one to the left um, how about the one that's directly across? Well, from the one that we came in. Sure. Uh, okay. That is filled with musical instruments. Uh, the, the ceiling is domed, and there are black wall hangings that appear to be made out of kelp or moss uh, that <laughs> seem to deaden the sound. Uh, okay. making, making it very acute yeah. for audio. Nice, nice. And I take it these instruments in the room are huge. 
Most of them are huge. There are three items that are regular size. One is a guitar hanging on the wall, or mm -hmm. a lute rather. One is a woodwind instrument. And the third is a brass horn that has fallen off its peg on the ceiling and is on the deck. Huh. All right. I'll walk over to the horn. Okay. And pick it up. Uh, it's got a few dents in it. Looks like it's seen better days. Doesn't look like anything unusual. Might have been carried by the military, perhaps. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks like any other brass horn that you've seen before. Okay. I pick it up. I can't play the horn, but I'll give it a try. <laughs> sure. Uh, are you? Where are you facing when you blow the horn? Um, probably towards the baffles. Sure. Let's decide which way you are turned. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, go ahead. You take the horn. You turn towards the door you just entered. <gasps> it is silent, but then you can physically see <laughs> ripples of force moving through whoa it hits the wall between the library and the conservatory and blasts it into pieces oh shit and an enormous booming sound is heard all three of you are going to need to make wisdom saves oh crap. very high wisdom saves <laughs> oh, emil no. rolls a nine Oh no. I rolled a seven. <laughs> I rolled a six. All three of you are I'm deaf, deaf as posts. <laughs> uh, you have caused considerable damage to the retaining wall between the library and the conservatory. Books and debris are everywhere. Uh, oh. Ouch. You're fairly confident that the sound was probably heard outside <laughs> we're not gonna get paid we're not <laughs> oh right, we can up. just say it was a hazard that well you can't hear me anyway <laughs> that that is the only entrance to this room of course now it's a much larger entrance god damn it <laughs> That's why I was like facing the baffles, but I guess that didn't help. You were the baffles on that wall. No. <laughs> oh man, this sucks. Uh, anybody has mending? <laughs> A lot of it. <laughs> I think I do. If you got it, man, let's start. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Oh yes, I do. Um. Yeah, how long, we're, we're how gonna, long do you want to spend mending this thing? As long as... Let's just see how much we can get. <laughs> uh, what do we have to roll? Camille, roll a d6. It's a cantrip, so you can you can spam that. <laughs> roll a what? D6. Four. Conservative estimate seems that it's going to take four hours to go ahead and mend this entire wall. Four. 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 No, we could take a short rest. That's an hour. Oh. Yeah. Well, well, and, and you don't get the benefits of the short rest if you're casting mending. Well, well that's fine. How, how about you cast mending and we'll continue the inspection? <laughs> that's why I can do that. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, we'll try not to engage too much. So, okay. <laughs> uh, with your memory intact, but deaf as a post. How long is that deafness <laughs> going to be? <laughs> you don't know, but you're deaf as a post. So well, I assume you point to her and do that and then... Yeah, and you know what? I'm walking into that art gallery going, fuck you guys. That's right. <laughs> I can't right hear shit. <laughs> As you, now, there is another exit out of the library. 
that mm -hmm. you did not go to. Is that the one you want? Or do you want to go all the way back into the throne room and go the other way? Um, let, let's try that other door in the library. I say nobody sat on the throne yet. That's true. Uh, you open the door to the library. You can't tell if it squeaks or not. And you do find yourself out into the central hall. You can see the paintings. <laughs> can't, can't hear them for shit. Have no idea what they're saying. <laughs> to your right, there is a door. All the way at the other end of the hall is a door. You see the brass, one of the three brass doors that you came through. Um... I guess the Daphne. Me meanwhile, to... you guys do not hear the cloud giants. Is everything okay out there? <laughs> they just like would hear us and all this noise. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, they heard that. <laughs> uh, Think Ghostbusters when they're I inside point the on ball Daphne, I tap, I tap da <laughs> Daphne's shoulder. Now, the brass doors are doors to outside, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. The three brass doors? Yes, those. Those are out in the uh, entry chamber. Okay. With the two chimneys. Okay. And what other door we haven't been through? The door to your right, you haven't been through. The door at the far end, you haven't been through. Okay. We'll go to the door on the right. The door on the right? Yeah, okay. I'll tap Daphne. <laughs> Apparently I'm dead. A fly just flew on me. Oh, no. It's your fly. <laughs> Sorry, it's... If you're dead, Later. I can resurrect you. Uh, you guys, you guys open up the door and you discover that it is the kitchen. Oh, oh dear. Okay. Uh, we'll look around. There's a high table in the center. You have no idea what is on top of it. Uh, around the walls uh, and up top, you can see one of those pot racks where various copper pots and things. Chester Copper there. Pot. There is a giant Chester. fire pit on the outside wall. You have two doors, one that leads to the left towards the front of the building, one that leads to the right, which kind of around where the conservatory was, mm -hmm. we aren't sure. Okay. Um. Uh, I don't know. I guess, um, yeah, look around and make our way around to the door to the the right. It is the pantry. Yes. All right. Nothing bad can happen in a pantry. <laughs> Giant mouse. I don't know. Unless you work in the restaurant industry. <laughs> Kitchen nightmare. <laughs> This is an idiot sandwich. Oh. <laughs> I'd have you guys roll for perception, but you're deaf as yeah. So as you start to look around, give me an investigation check. Okay. Again, idiot sandwich. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, 21. Daphne? Sorry, what was it for? Investigation. Uh, Daphne is looking around and she can't hear it, but a box of flour tips over above her and <laughs> covers you uh, in white flour. Zadar, you see this and laugh hysterically, although <laughs> all she sees is because <laughs> you guys are deaf as fucking posts. Uh, Zadar, as you turn around, there is a puppy behind you <gasps> oh. with its tail wagging. Oh! The puppy... Is it Steve? ...is blue. <gasps> oh. This color okay. blue. Oh, wow. The okay. tail is wagging, and you can tell <laughs> that it is barking. But again, you are Can't dead this it. fucking post. He's hungry. <laughs> uh... Yeah, well. Yeah, uh, meanwhile, Daphne, you are literally covered, covered in flour. Covered in flour. <laughs> when you blink your eyes, you manage to clean off your eyes, but otherwise, <laughs> there's yep. there's even a powder residue between your horns. <laughs> like a little hat. 
I, I'm still laughing my ass off at that, but I'll say I, I'm, I meant, you know, say just a second. I know she can't hear me. And I cast press the digitation to clean her off. Does that, does that have a verbal component? I don't think it does, but let me check and make sure. I mean, you can still talk, you just can't. Yeah, I, yeah, it just can't be heard. Well, there, there's an issue. There is an issue. Okay. Uh, press the digitation. Verbal and somatic up to oh, an hour. Okay. You see Zadar begin to talk, but because of his elevated tone, because death is opposed, he doesn't just clean you. It's like he puts you into a wind turbine. <laughs> so now you have streaks of white along uh she is cleaner ish okay it, it looks like you took a hair dryer right. yeah you took a hair dryer to her face she's frosted <laughs> you've got this <laughs> that, that didn't sound bad streak <laughs> in your hair and the dog hmm. <laughs> Aww. Aww. so how, how big is the dog compared to us? The dog is a puppy compared to you, but you notice that he has a collar on, or she. You haven't checked the uh, junk yet, but uh, it has a collar on it. Okay, this isn't a giant puppy. It's just a regular size blue puppy is what you're saying? Correct. It is not Clifford. Oh, okay. All right. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and give it a little scribble behind its ears and check its... Uh, collar the tag on it says weebles weebles oh okay of course you're scratching and going hello weebles you're a good dog <laughs> <laughs> nice <laughs> because again death is fucking posts yeah how long is that gonna last a while. <laughs> uh, <laughs> crap. Oh, man. So, Weebles. Mm-hmm. Oh, I give him, give him more scrubbles. Let's see if we can find something for him to eat. So, is there, I don't know, anything? Jerky scraps or something? Just dry goods. Oh, okay. Yeah, they ain't going to eat dry goods. <laughs> they might eat so. bread. Um, my, well, I don't think be like baking soda and and stuff like that. Yeah, uh, rice, beans, things like that. So, magic beans? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'll I'll pick Weebles up. I was say he could be our them. mascot. So, Weebles the blue dog uh, with pointy ears is now your mascot. Uh, you walk outside of the pantry back into the kitchen. Uh, Weebles seems to be barking up at the table. Oh, okay. Uh, I look up at the table. Can't see anything, huh? Nope, just the edge. Oh, okay. Um, is there a way to possibly climb up? Uh, D12 against me. Okay. Uh, five. Eleven. Nope. Nope. Damn it. Okay. What about the fly? Is, uh, Daphne still has the fly. What about my fly? <laughs> and I'm saying to Daphne, fly! <laughs> up periscope. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like if I saw that, I would just stare at you. Give me an intelligence check, Daphne. Let's see if you can figure out what uh, his game of charades is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fifteen. Buzz, buzz. <laughs> uh, you can determine that he wants you to fly up to the table for some reason. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, no wings. <laughs> You're on the wrong character. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Yeah. No way. <laughs> so, uh, fly, no. you know, I, I point to your pocket where the fly is. And... <laughs> I guess I take my fly out. <laughs> I'm flying up there. Yeah, yeah. Or do I go like you want? <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, but with this thing, yeah, I guess I I know the activation word. So I hand her weevils, <laughs> and I take the fly and say, "Flyeth, biggeth, getteth, whatever." <laughs> no, it, no, you scream it because yes, yeah, yeah, I do. Half as opposed, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> The fly forms up and allows you to get on. Okay. All right. So, so, yeah. Yeah. So I can will the, well, I tell the fly to go. <laughs> uh, you fly up to the top and there appear to be pieces of jerky or bacon. Oh. Crumbs. Uh, you also see a, a rather large dagger uh, wow. kind of sitting. Uh, on a stand, but it's not in the knife stand, so it's just sitting on it. Mm -hmm. uh, so it looks precariously perched. Mm. Let's not go near that. Where's the jerky and in, in location of the the Sc scattered about the crumbs in the center of the uh, table? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna gather some. Uh, I'm gonna land the fly down, and I'm gonna pick up some jerky scraps. Sure. Stuff like that. So, some for Fly Weebles, back. some for us. Sure. Fly back down. Yeah. Yeah, I do at this point. Pat him on the head and scream, hey, Weebles! Weebles! <laughs> He's like, <laughs> cowers in fear at you, deaf fuckers. Uh, <laughs> eagerly laps up the jerky slash bacon. Well, he pees. And he pees. <laughs> uh, does he pee on you? 16, he pees on your legs, it are. Oh. Well. is a boy. Uh, as the Margu guys will say, it's not a Phil Bar adventure unless, unless you get peed on. shit on you. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Weebles seems to be happy. Uh, there is a small door leading north, uh, which is the direction you came in from. Yeah. <laughs> I say, let's go that way. <laughs> Weebles. <laughs> Poor Weebles. Uh, Daphne, he's... <laughs> Are you going to follow him or no? Are you going to follow me or what? I'm like motioning to you. We're going to go through that other door? Yeah, I guess. Okay. All right. Awkwardly. <laughs> uh, again, like most doors in this place, it opens seamlessly. You notice that it is a much narrow, narrower door. Okay. Uh, but as you open it, you notice that you are in a grand dining hall. Uh, oh, ergo, okay. This would be the servant's entrance to go ahead and bring in food and drink. A large table with an old, uh, probably plastic tablecloth that appears mm -hmm. to have been burnt in one spot. Or there washed. Or wash. There you go, Dad. That's a shout out to my dad. Uh, is in the center of this room. Uh, there are two large fireplaces here. You notice on this side, uh, the fireplace to the exterior wall appears to be normal in all respects. The fireplace on the inner wall appears to be different. Okay. Um. I'll inspect it. Investigation check. Okay. Uh, um, I rolled a 19, so 26. Uh, there seems to be a brass foot pedal on the exterior of this chimney. Hmm. Kind of That's like, weird. Like a baffles? Or... Like a foot pedal to an organ. Oh. Okay. That's odd. Um. Yeah. How big is it? How big is it in relate? Is it giant size? This foot pedal. Uh, it's the size of a head, a human oh. head. Oh. Okay. Maybe elongated. Maybe a dragon head. A small dragon head. 
Okay. Like a baby wow. dragon. And it's set on a post, so it kind of looks like a T almost. Okay. And it's jutting out from the side of the fireplace, the chimney? It's it's on the cherub side holding up the mantel. It's mm -hmm. in front of one of the cherubs. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, like this isn't going to cause any problem. <laughs> I'm like, should I push on this? <laughs> to Daphne. Force to... your head down. Yeah. <laughs> uh, should I push on the pedal? Sure. Def okay. You are not heavy enough. Oh, okay. <laughs> Get that tingling. Like, oh, okay. I'm like, come on. <laughs> so. <laughs> no, no. Well, I mean. Zadar uh, is really kind of stretching the boundaries. And where is yeah. Weebles? Weebles is just sitting there. Yeah. Okay. Poor guy. I give him another piece of jerky. <laughs> Does he know that he would go up on the pedal? He's a puppy. He's a puppy. Yeah, so puppies are like, what? So, Daphne, it appears as though Zadar wants you to jump on this thing with him. Yeah. Yeah, nothing bad can happen from that. Yeah, Daphne, jump on the brass knob. Uh, <laughs> oh. He went like there. <laughs> there you go. Well, do you want to do it or no? Yeah, I seductively jump it? on the brass no. The combined weight of both of you seems to make the uh, cantilever lever bend down. At this point in time, you notice that the chimney starts to swivel, a la Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, <laughs> allowing you entry into the main hall. Huh. Okay. But, <laughs> roll initiative. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. That's a horrible roll. <laughs> 23. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 19. Uh, Daphne and Zadar, you do not hear them because, again, death is post. But you see the two intact brass dwarves. Oh, no. <laughs> starting to move on you. And they oh. are seven foot tall mm. okay hmm moving on us mm -hmm. yeah yeah they're attacking us yeah so the chimney or the fireplace has gone 90 degrees allowing you access into the great hall apparently uh, for parties and such everybody meets in the great hall when dinner is served whoop, they move the chimney and people may filter in on both sides. Uh, currently, two bronze guardians, or brass guardians, I forget what I made them, one of the two, uh, are, are headed to rejuvenate your assholios. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so I, I guess uh, we're not running, I guess. So these things are constructs, right? Mm-hmm. Quite powerful yeah. constructs, too. Well, I'm like, uh, <laughs> we could stay and fight, or we can run. I There's guess a... run, right? Wouldn't that make sense? I mean, they're going to get an opportunity of uh, attack against us, I guess, right? Frank? If they can reach us. If they can reach you, they will. Okay. Well, if they're not in range yet, then uh, I say, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I guess we can press the thing again and try to close it. Yeah. The pedal. Yeah, let him. We'll climb back up on the pedal and try and jump on it and try to close it. Yeah. Both of your old D20s. Let's make sure you aren't panicking. Not these guys. No, not these not guys. Funny. Not at seventh level. <laughs> these guys have what? ice ice water flowing through their veins. <laughs> Sixteen. 
16. Uh, you guys leap on it, and the chimney, or the fireplace, and no more dwarves. Position. Dwarves are still on the other side. Nice. Okay. Whew. That averted. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, we'll pick up Weebles and uh, head to the, the next area to explore. Okay. Uh, well, you're somewhat limited. You are in the great dining area. You're in the dining hall. Okay. All right. Um, so, uh, yeah, I guess we'll, we'll check out the great dining hall. You've already been there. Oh, oh, okay. Sorry. That's what a fireplace room is. Right, right. Are we, That's like, it. just missing one door now? Uh, in the art gallery, there was a door at the far end. In the throne room, there was the opposite side door. Mm. Yeah, the right side. Okay, well, we'll head towards that, the, the right side door, I guess. In, in the art gallery? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, as Take you advantage. Go, as you go into the art gallery. Uh, you can, you're starting to regain your hearing a little bit. Uh, as you walk past the open door that you came through, uh, the two bronze golems whoop, notice you. Clank, 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 and head towards the open door. Okay. Oh, crap. <laughs> These guys again. Mm-hmm. Looks like we're not getting out of this. So. Uh, oh, they're like walking. Yeah, yeah, they're heading towards us. What do you want to do, Daph? Uh, I. Do what's it? My thaumaturgy, blah blah blah. blah. Thaumaturgy. Yeah. Well, it it opens unlocked doors or windows. So. Does he cause flames to flicker? You can close Down. the door. Oh yeah, you can instantly cause an unlocked door. Yeah, okay. The opener shut. Yep. Mm, yeah. Close the door. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> You close the door and you hear clank, clank, clank very faintly because you're still kind of deaf, I suppose. Uh, the clanking stops when the door shuts. Okay. Nice. Okay. Yay. Give me insight <laughs> check. Eight. Uh, Thirteen. I don't know. It seems as though you're safe for the time being. Okay. Uh, you reach the far end of the uh, hallway, and uh, there's a door. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and and open that up. When you open this door, you notice a couple of things. One, to your direct right is a door. To your direct left is a door situated in the center of the hallway are stairs. High right is another door. Um, I don't know. Stairs? Yeah, stairs. So there's stairs, stairs to another time. door. This is the first time you've been in this area. Oh, yeah. okay. Camille, uh, you've done this shit for an hour and you're getting tired. What do you want to do? <laughs> How's it looking? <laughs> Yeah, about 25% done. Uh, it's up to you, Camille. <laughs> I mean, I guess I keep going. Okay. It came that way. Fair enough. Uh, Zadar and Daphne, uh, did you want to go get Camille or do you want to venture forth on your own? Uh, it, it's I up to like you. We shouldn't go upstairs alone. How about that? Downstairs. Oh, downstairs. downstairs. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, nothing bad is ever downstairs. <laughs> no serial killer, no open graves, none of that. Yeah. Shit. No well with uh somebody in it. So um okay, I 
Motion. Let's go get Camille. Okay. So we'll head on. We'll trick on back. Uh, you walk back into the art gallery. Uh, D12 against me, both of you. Something in the ghetto? Uh, 11. 12. <laughs> 11. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, I also got 11. Uh, you both hear enough that they are insulting you again. D, uh, DC wisdom as the paintings continue to early berate you. Surely they couldn't care at this point. <laughs> right. It's their job. Uh, 15. Wait, sorry. Wisdom or like a wisdom saving? Just wisdom. wisdom save. Okay. 23. Blah, blah, blah. You can barely hear him. You go into the room. Uh, Camille looks at the wall. Uh, it's only about 25% of the way done. Made some progress. Got the form. There's books all over the fucking place. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it's making headway. Uh, she is also partially getting her hearing back. Uh, you guys can shout out what the hell's going on. Where'd you get the dog? Why mm -hmm. is why is there a dog here? Yada yada yada. It's We're like so it's weebles. <laughs> Camille, Weebles, Weebles, Camille. Uh, <laughs> and this looks like a good place to stop for the night. So let's go ahead and do final thoughts. Camille, what do you think? I need more Weebles. <laughs> That's what I think. More Weebles, I'm sure, is always the answer. Yay. Yeah. Uh, Daphne, what do you think? Wait, so these people haven't even gone in their house yet? Nope. So the house just came with the dog? I guess we need to figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> it's blue, which is very odd. So it's just blue's blue. It's bow, bow, bow. All, so. all here. But uh, I mean, good it's just frustrating like being so tiny. Aww. Like my real that... life problems are now in the game and it's so stressful. She's a tiefling. She shouldn't be tiny. You're your seventh level there, dear. You guys, <laughs> you guys are supposed to be Billy Joe badasses and you're running from brass monkey dwarves. <laughs> nice. Uh, uh, Zadar, what'd you think? I enjoyed it. I, you know, I mean, yeah, it's full. It's <laughs> full of little pitfalls. I wouldn't expect anything less from you. So, so yeah, it's been it's been fun. I mean, we got a cute dog for right now, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. This was not designed for you guys to just get done in two hours. This I, I be get several to look, sessions. I get to look like Tarna. So yeah, yeah so that's fun. Plus. Uh, folks at home, we'll uh, we'll get out of here so you can go watch Critical Role if that's your fancy. Uh, it's don't that on to... tonight. <laughs> oh, isn't it? Wow, we could have ran long. Uh, right. Kyle, Kyle. Folks, rewatch one of our previous episodes. That would be something to laugh at. Uh, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Check out our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, &D, join our Discord channel. If you want to buy our crap, or I'm sorry, as Carol would Bye. say, high, high quality merchandise Workout. like the workout. Mm -hmm. uh, check out our site. Uh, most importantly, if you want to be on the talk show on Tuesdays, not this coming Tuesday, though, because it's all about pro DMs. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you want to be on the Saturday one shot, mm -hmm. still open, still accepting applications. We do have multiple people already. But if you want to play in that two hours worth of fun, hit us up, M Hobo Inc. Twitter or Gmail. Uh, thank you to Pirate Dog Dice for really putting the screws to these guys tonight. <laughs> tonight. My own uh, dice. Fuck and, you. And, hey, you know that. You know what? That stinks. So maybe you need more adventure sense in your life. Uh, adventure sense by OddFishGames.com. Also the maker of the Shine system. But if nice. your game stinks, pick up some adventure sense. Uh, folks, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., we hope you have a great Friday, and we will see you on Saturday. Again, if you want to play, hit us up. We will get you on there. <laughs> nice. uh, bye, everybody. Uh, Weeble bye, everybody. says goodnight.